Hey guys, welcome back to Chariot Palmistry. My name is Sulab Jain, and on this channel we talk about palmistry as a spiritual tool to help you navigate your life. And I want to update you guys on my predictions on what I thought would be happening with the world here, particularly in regards to the Black Lives Matter movement happening in the United States, and also the freedom movement happening for democracy in Hong Kong. And I actually want to connect these dots for you because I predicted all of this stuff happening months and months ago in a video I put up, I think it was the end of March, it might have been early April, but here's a little clip from that video. So those are my predictions guys. Right now, the world seems hunkered down, focusing exclusively on the coronavirus. But that's not what you should be looking at at all. There's a higher spiritual purpose to that Sagittarius thing I was talking about before. Higher divine justice, translating as justice for the people here on Earth. And that doesn't seem to be happening. So these karmic planets, Ketu and Saturn, are going to start to bring that into this world in the second half of this year. They're going to do it through complete and utter disruption of one of these four countries. Could even be all four of them, could be three, could be two. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to come about, but we can see these storm clouds on the horizon. So if you guys live in one of these countries, I think now's the time to prepare yourself while the world's focused on this virus. That's not what this whole situation's about. Focus on the spiritual energy here and you guys and your families should be safe during this time. Okay, so the bigger theme here is one of spiritual justice becoming one of human justice. And energy works so brilliantly this way if you understand how energy works, you can see that there's actually a direct correlation between the coronavirus lockdowns and also the Black Lives Matter movement. Because think of it this way, the coronavirus, it's a respiratory based disease or illness. What it does is it locks down your lungs and it suffocates you to death. And if you think of the rallying cry of the Black Lives Matter movement right now, they keep saying, I can't breathe. It's actually the exact same energy, just replaying itself. And so the energy of what brought the world to its knees with this coronavirus and respiratory-based illness is the exact same energy that put that knee on that poor American guy's throat until he couldn't breathe anymore. And if you understand how energy works, you can actually make predictions on how these things are going to resolve itself. Right now, the whole world is looking at America and also Hong Kong and the protests and riots going on over there. I want you guys to be a step ahead of all of this. In my predictions, I said it would also happen in Pakistan and also in Russia. So I want you guys to look at those countries and the headlines coming out of those countries. Because when unrest happens over there, that's when this whole energy will start to resolve itself and hopefully the world will start to get into a better place. Before that happens though, I think the world may be getting worse. Because in my previous video, I also said that this situation is not going to resolve itself until there's the threat of war, a civil war, or a rebellion. And we can kind of see how that may already be playing out in America and Hong Kong right now. But it's actually going to be getting a whole lot crazier. And there's also going to be a serious risk of deposing the leaders of one of these countries before we get to the very end of this whole chaotic drama of divine justice becoming human justice. Remember, Saturn and Ketu, the planets that are creating this whole situation, are doing it for the benefit of everybody. Saturn is a planet that governs the working class, the average people. Incidentally, it also represents dark-skinned people too, so you can kind of see the energy with Black Lives Matter in America. What they're really wanting is justice and equality. And until that happens, these planets are going to create disruption everywhere until it takes place. The timing for this though, there are two significant periods in the next few months I want you guys to pay attention to. The first is at the very end of July and more so into August. What will happen then is the Sun will transit into Leo. And right now, Saturn is like the king of the zodiac. That's the planet that's bringing down the financial sector and the business world. And when the Sun comes into Leo, it will be eight zodiac houses away from Saturn. And eight is the zodiac house for like secrets and that type of thing. Leo is a place for the government. 
and the son is the king. So putting those two things together, a lot of government secrets are going to come out into the open, I believe, during those times. So there'll be scandals or political scandals, and that's going to lead to more social unrest. But then things are going to get even crazier because towards the end of August and more so into September, I predict that there's going to be food shortages in the world because at that point, the sun is going to transit into Virgo. Now, Virgo rules things like food and also digestion. And in the ninth house from Capricorn, where the sun will be sitting at that time, there's going to be food shortages. And that's also going to lead to a different kind of social unrest. There will also be prospects of war happening at around about September, plus or minus a month here or there. And what I want to do for you guys is keep you one step ahead of everybody else during this chaotic time. Whilst the whole world is wondering whether black lives matter or whether all lives matter or whether Floyd had a criminal history or all that other stuff, let's not even get into that. It's all irrelevant. The key theme is, is justice being given to the world? What you guys want to be doing is focusing on shoring up some sort of food supply for the month of September, like long term or long lasting food. Get through that chaotic period rather than focusing on the immediate crisis happening right now. If you can do that, you'll be navigating yourself to the end of September in a really good way. Now, if you guys have any questions, put them in the comment section below. And as always, hit like and subscribe to these videos, guys. Thanks a lot.